Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about how to use the online judging portal at DevPost. So at the beginning of the judging period, judges are going to be sent unique links from the DevPost platform, which will connect their DevPost accounts to their judging profiles. The unique link comes in an email that looks like this. So it's going to say judging begins now for, and then the hackathon name here. Um, and then it's going to have the name of the judge, the name of the hackathon, and then some instructions on how to get started. So to get started, it says click this judging button below to connect your DevPost account with your judging dashboard. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. All right, first thing I'm going to need to do is to either sign up or log in to continue. Now I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. To log into my account, I'm gonna enter my username and my password. All right, so now that I've entered my username and password, I've gone straight to the judging dashboard. Um, so this is where you can see quite a few things with, within the judging portal. You can see the steps to review, which is to review the judging criteria right here, rate each submission over here, and then come back here to this judging dashboard to view your progress. Note that the URL for the judging dashboard is the URL of your actual uh, hackathon slash judge. So you can return to it at any time by just putting in URL of your hackathon slash judge. So let's quickly review our judging criteria. Judging criteria are the quality of the idea, the implementation of the idea, and the potential impact. Now to start judging, I'm gonna go ahead and either click the start judging button or I can go ahead and click the entry name, but I'm gonna click the start judging button. Once I click the start judging button, um, you'll see that you go to the first submission and you also have a link to go back to your judging dashboard right up here at the top. So as I look to this, I'm gonna see uh, what is included in this first, first submission. So I can see the submission name, the tagline of the submission, the video that was included, a text description, and a URL where I can go and take a look at the submission. Um, now, since I've entered some dummy information in here, it's a little bit fragmented, um, but those are the basic elements that you'll see. Over here on the right, you see this rate your submission box. So what it's asking you to do here is click a star between one and five for each of the criteria, five being the best. Um, so I'm saying, okay, I'm reviewing this submission. I've watched the video. I've clicked through to see the images. And now I wanna say, what's the quality of this idea? Now let's say that I don't quite understand what quality of the idea means. If I hover over this little question mark, it's gonna tell me um, the definition for this particular criteria. So the quality of the idea definition includes the creativity, originality, and wow factor of the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and give this three stars. Implementation of the idea. I'm gonna give that four stars. And potential impact. I'm gonna give that two stars. And then I can click save and continue. Clicking save and continue is gonna take me right into the next, uh, the next submission. So now that I'm in here, I'm looking at the next submission, you'll see that there's a couple of things that are different about this particular submission. Um, there's still a video and an image. Um, there's also, as you'll see right here, uh, a quick text description. It's built with QuickTime and there's a URL. We also have an attached file. So if you are a judge or a competition manager, you do have access to any attached files. Um, and if you click on them, they will just download. All right, so we're gonna go back. All righty, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. And you see that there is a recuse yourself button from the judging the submission. If I am reviewing the submission and I see that I potentially know this submitter or maybe I've invested in this particular application, I can recuse myself. And this will simply um, put my, my scores to zero. Um, and then I can go from there. I can also X out to go back to zero here. Save and continue. And as I see, I've gone back to the initial one, which means I've completed all my judging. I can click here to go back to my judging dashboard. And now I see that there's a little uh, indicator on the top saying I've completed the judging process. I can see that for each of these entry names, um, if I look, it says that they have been judged. You can see their average rating. 
If I click back into one of these, let's say I actually think that submission instructions should be above Songbox DJ, I click back here, give it five stars, save and continue, and then go back to my judging dashboard. <clears throat> and I can see that now this rating is a five and this is a three. And that's it. That's how you uh, score submissions on the DevPost platform, and I hope this was helpful for you.